Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be getting ready for my day using my number one favorite product in every category. Well, at least on this day, at this moment. This was a video idea actually brought up by one of you guys. I asked on Instagram what videos you'd like to see in the month of August, and this one was brought up by I am Rosie Tran on Instagram, so thank you. I'm always open to your suggestions. Some of my best videos were actually thought up by some of you guys, so if you have any fun ideas, comment them down below. So before we get into the makeup, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. I really did a number on my collar today. I did that thing where I already had my hair up in my towel, so I just stretched it over because I was lazy. I shouldn't have done it. So first step, I've been loving the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Pyrite. I'm in another phase with it. It's so, so pretty. I like this one because it's a bit of a bronzier color. I just like to take it on my fingertips, kind of smudge it, and then I just quickly apply it on my high points and kind of up like this in that C shape. This has been my favorite highlighter. I also use it on top of my foundation if I feel like I need to add more glow, but it's just one of the most pretty liquid highlights out there. I think I go in and out of phases with it because it's such a big bottle. I hope that she comes out with like mini sizes because that would be awesome for makeup bag purposes and everything like that because this is a little bit chunky and heavy to carry around. Um, and I'm so afraid to like break it because the bottle is so pretty. I don't, it's pretty sturdy, but I feel like I would find a way to break it. You guys know, I would. Now for my foundation slash concealer, I use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Right now I'm using the shade 2.8. Yeah, I've been using this as my foundation and concealer just because it's been so hot and humid where I'm living. Anytime I put on like a full layer of foundation or skin tint, I feel like it just doesn't sink into my skin nicely. It just feels like a mask and I don't like that. So I basically put on the thinnest layer of this stuff to crack to my skin. I was really itchy there at the beginning, so I don't know what's happening. Sometimes I go in with a lighter shade from under my eyes, but I kind of enjoy using the same color so it's not too highlighted under here. It just makes it look like my skin is perfect. I just basically apply a little layer over anything that's red or anything that's like an acne scar and I always do my nose as well. I love doing this with little brushes as well. It feels like I'm actually painting my face or I'm back in makeup school. And I'm like mm, a prissy little makeup artist and I love that vibe. <laughs> then I just take a foundation brush and I kind of buff over everything. I wonder what like a full-on layer of this stuff would look like because it's such a pretty concealer to go all over your face because it has that soft matte finish so it kind of blurs out your imperfections as well. So now for my powder, I have been using this one pretty much daily for the last couple months. I wouldn't say it replaced my love for the uh, Pat McGrath under eye powder. I still adore that one. I think I've just been using the Pat McGrath one for years, so it's exciting for me that I found another one. <laughs> and I like to switch it up even though I've used this in practically every video. <laughs> this next product is probably going to be very predictable again. Maybe you should keep a tally on how many products you guess are going to be in this video and let me know your score in the comments down below. <laughs> so now for my bronzer, say it with me, it's going to be the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium. This stuff is awesome. My mom the other day, she called me and she was like, this stuff has been sent to us from heaven and I completely agree. My mom and I seriously had like a 10 minute conversation on how much we love this product. I feel like I've said everything I can say under the sun about this product on my channel, so you guys just know. Um, but if you're newer to my channel, I, I strongly recommend you checking out my recent bronzer video. I went over and reviewed every single new bronzer that has come out this year so far. I worked really hard on that video. So if you haven't watched it, please do. It mean a lot. <laughs> I just don't get the magic of this product because it's so sheer but it bronzes your face so much and it's glowy but it doesn't feel heavy or greasy but it stays around all day. I don't get it. And I've been enjoying amping things up. 
with a little bit of contour and I've been using the uh, Fenty Beauty matchsticks either in amber or amber suede. Amber suede is a bit warmer. It's one of the newer shades that they came out with. That's what it looks like. And here is the OG amber. So you can see quite a significant difference, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of original amber. Just a little bit in the hollows. And I'm just going to use that same brush. This is a Fenty 125 face. And it's nice because it has that tapered kind of angled edge to it. So I'm just going to take that point and dab it out. Now for blush, these are the ones I gravitate towards the most. So the Rose Ink Heliotrope. It's a really nice soft pink and I find that it suits a lot of the looks. It can pull more warm or cool depending on what, what the vibe is. Or I've been doing my little rare beauty mixture using the uh, shades Encourage and Hope. This one here is Hope and this one is Encourage, but I like to mix the two to kind of soften each other out. I take a little dab of each in the middle of my palm and then I take a denser brush. This is a foundation brush. And then I really coat the bristles and I dab off the excess so I don't apply too much. And then I feel like we get the perfect amount. This is still a lot of blush, but are you new here? <laughs> I've been doing this for years. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. powder once again. I'm just taking a bare brush this time around and I set where I get oily. This one blurs so beautifully and it's a bit more of a, not a, I wouldn't say like it's a drying powder, but it's definitely a little bit more on the dehydrating side, but I really enjoy that for my oilier skin type because it makes everything last a lot longer and I feel like it just adds such a nice finish. It's not heavy or too raisin feeling, like I don't feel that. Now before I do my brows and such, I'll show you the products I've been using. Very boring. I've been using these products for months if not years. <laughs> so for my brows, I've been using the two Kosas products, the Brow Pop to fill in my brows and shape them a bit. And then the air brow in the tinted version just to add some more volume and um, lift. And then for my eyeshadow primer, the classic Fenty Beauty eye primer, so good. Especially for the warmer months, it really holds my eye looks together. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. So please enjoy the intermission. Did you guys enjoy the intermission? I hope so. So now for eyes. I have some favorite eyeliners as well as a favorite eyeshadow palette. For my eyeshadow palette, it's got to be the Super Nudes from Charlotte Tilbury, which is kind of random. To me, when I first got this, I was like, this looks like the most boring eyeshadow palette ever. But it's grown on me so much and it continues to grow on me every time I use it. The quality of the shadows in here are just stunning and they also have a very different finish than anything else I have see how they have that little subtle glow to them it's different and for my eyeliners it's still the melt cosmetic slick waterline eye pencils in the shades cacao and ivory I'm gonna try to do a look I haven't done in a couple years but I want to, I just want to try it. So I'm starting off with some of the eyeliner and I'm just going to kind of dot it right where my crease ends. Just a little line like so. I'm taking this Sigma, no, this is a Moda angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to blend this out. These pencils are awesome because they blend like a cream shadow would. They're very easy to manipulate. You get a lot of working time. They're also incredibly pigmented. I don't always just use them in the waterline, of course. I use them everywhere because they're just so delightful. Oh, I already messed this up. <laughs> oh no. My habits kicked in. I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer and shave off some of the eyeliner I just did. <laughs> I just wanted it to be a top liner because I'm doing a little lower wing as well. Thank you. 
Okay, see where we're heading? <laughs> I'm gonna put away the eyeliner for a moment. I'm going to dip into my eyeshadow palette and I'm first going to use the lightest shade in here. Oh no, I'm not, this shade right here, pardon me, um, for my crease color. you can kind of stop it there and add a shimmer here or just leave it matte, which I find to be very pretty. I kind of like it light, actually. I was going to make it kind of dark, but I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to take the lightest shade now and I'm going to set my lid right here. But I'm going to start adding more depth on the outer corners. I'm now going to take a mixture of these two browns. And I'm going to concentrate that just above that little starting line we've done. And we're going to um, bring this back as well. I just wanted to increase the depth and definition as well as on the lower lash line. Whenever I do this eye look, I feel like a, a leopard. And I'm going over the eyeliners with this dark brown. I just love how this looks over top of eyeliners. It softens it out and I feel like it just holds onto the shadow very beautifully. It just looks rich. What if we did a little inner corner detail now that I want to look like a cheetah? Or what did I say, a leopard? <laughs> and I need to uh, define this a little bit more, so I'm taking the deepest brown once again, and I'm going to add it right where I had that initial eyeliner, kind of like so. Like a little cut crease, but just on the outer edge. I love how it just diffuses into nothingness. And now this is where ivory comes to play. So I'm going to just highlight these little negative spaces right here. Kind of like concealer, but it just brightens everything up again. You can use concealer. I just like the longevity of this eyeliner because it self sets afterwards. Just gonna clean things up, brighten it up. Love that. <laughs> and why not add a little more highlight right here? Just to exaggerate everything even more. I'm just gonna repeat it and I'll be right back. So now moving on to mascara. I kind of cheated in this section. I'm always a two mascara type of gal. So for my mascaras, these have been my go-to as of late. Pat McGrath fetish eyes mascara, as well as the Pick Me Up from M Cosmetics. I did give my lashes a good squeeze in, at least something of mine is getting some squeeze in. And now I'm gonna throw this in them. And here are the eyes all finished. I'm so happy I went with this throwback look. And it's so fun to use color in the waterline here and you bring it into that negative space as well and then you do like a, a colorful shadow in here as well it's just such a fun look that you can just jazz up easily so many fun possibilities oh, little rhinestones i'm gonna have to do that <laughs> but now let's move on to my lips i feel like this is a medium predictable lip combo but for my lip liner, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Pink, Pinky Brown, Pinky Brown. <laughs> this is pretty much my identical lip color. So it's been such a nice one to make my lips look more plump without darkening them or anything like that. See it just like, you can't tell. It's just the same rosiness as my lips. I've been a huge fan of the Lip Contour 2.0 formula for a while. It's just this color that has revolutionized my lips. <laughs> and then I'm going to be topping everything off with the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Rose Glow. I'm so happy I bought more colors. And this looks fantastic with that Rare Beauty blush combo or either of these colors alone as well. You don't need to do the mix. And there it is. I'm not gonna put my bangs down because they're kind of in an awkward length. I'm growing them out. I decided I'm over it. <laughs> 
But this is the finished and final makeup look. I can't wait to see your tallies down below on how many products you guessed were gonna be in this. Uh, that's gonna be a fun thing to read through, that's for sure. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a like. And of course, I'll make sure to link all of these products I mentioned in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.